In this line of work, you get to talk to some pretty amazing people. And some of them are famous faces. Yep. So when you get the chance to interview someone that uh, you and others look up to, well, it is a pretty exciting day. Yep. I recently had one of those experiences involving someone that I've looked up to for years. Take a look. We love coming to the Amway Grand Plaza Hotel in downtown Grand Rapids. Not only is it a beautiful place, but you never know who you're going to run into here. In fact, we are sensing a little star power. Here's a big hint, a really big name in the collegiate sports world. So let's go see if he'll uh, give us a few minutes of his time. Look who we have here. It's Tom Izzo. I'm Rachel Ruiz. I work for Wood TV. Hi, Rachel. How are you? I'm great. Do you have a few minutes? Yeah. Please? What are you doing here? Well, actually, I just happen to be coming through the Amway, and uh, you always run into really interesting people here, and so I'm so glad that uh, you've agreed to talk to us because I'm a huge Spartan fan, a grad, and I have some big questions. I'm really curious about the 2012-2013 basketball season. I'm looking forward the to it. The dynamics have changed of the team. You're right. We lose Draymond Green, who was our, our best player, but we've got a, a couple of really good players coming in, including Mr. Basketball from our state and Mr. Basketball from Indiana. So I think we'll have enough good players to keep you alums happy. Yeah. Well, I'm looking forward to it already. You have some great players that people from West Michigan know. Of course, Austin Thornton's graduating, Drew Neitzel, another big name. You recruit heavily from Michigan in drivable states. What do you look for in a potential player? Well, I, I look for people that have great families, great yeah. rapport with people. Uh, that's why I've enjoyed it. Uh, Matt Staginga way back. Great, uh, you know, South was Christian. One of my first ones that we landed from this side of the state. And Matt's been great, and Austin was great, Drew was fabulous. So it's been lucky. I've been lucky, a lot of good things over here, and I think good people equal good players. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you were to say maybe a couple of your all-time favorite players, who would they be? Well, you know, I always put Mateen Cleaves in there because he helped lead us to that national championship. But if I went all the way back, it was the Matt Stegingas, Mike Peploskis, and Mark Montgomery class that we recruited that probably helped get me the job. So I can't forget about those guys, you know. And then it was Drew Neitzel's class that got us back to a Final Four because it looked like we weren't going to make one in a four-year period, and his class helped do that. And, uh, and of course, this past year, we went from kind of so-so last year to a very good year this year. And uh, I'm just tickled to death to be here sitting with you, talking, just meeting you in the Amway. Yeah, well, the pleasure is all mine. We wanted to have a little fun. Uh, will you play a little word association with us? Depends what words you <laughs> Words or phrases we'll take, too. Okay. Okay, okay. So we're going to start NCAA Tournament 2012. Excitement of being a one seed, disappointment in getting beat too early. Mm-hmm. Okay. Next, University of Michigan. Very good school, but hard to say anything else good about it. <laughs> uh, that's why I love you so much. NBA. Great respect for the NBA. Um, not for me, but respect for them. Okay, so last we have political office. Well, with Peter Secchi in this town being the political guy that he is, I have to say good things about politics, but not for me. <laughs> okay, we'll leave it to Peter. He's a great guy. One last question. Of course, you've really made your mark. MSU's winningest coach of all time. After basketball, do you have any thoughts at this point? I might come join you in TV, you know. <laughs> I'd have fun with you, Rachel. We'd, we'd make a good duo here. And, you know, I, I really don't um, plan on coaching for a while yet. And when I'm done, uh, maybe enjoy my kids or maybe uh, seriously get into some broadcasting or something. Then. That'd be great. Well, you always have a spot at Wood TV waiting for you. And on 8 West, our show. Love to. Yeah. Thanks so much for spending time with us, Tom. Well, thanks for stopping by and seeing me. It's quite an honor. Appreciate it. You know, we love the Spartans. We love Tom Izzo. He's the best. Nice guy. <laughs> so West. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, when he said TV, I don't think that's exactly what he had in mind. You that's never hilarious. know. I guess so. You he, never know. He seems very West. He mm -hmm. is. He was so nice. <laughs> yeah. And uh, of course, we did have to set that up ahead of time. Yeah. But we said, okay, Tom, we really like to have some fun. He said, I'm not going to end up in YouTube <laughs> in a bad way. And I said, Tom. We're family. That's right. I You're never Spartan do that to you. That's right. Her, her <laughs> blood is green. And so is Amanda, the editor of the entire piece. But so, yeah. beyond that, you know, there are people that are outside of Spartan graduates. You know, people that love the team, or people that maybe even love University of Michigan, Ohio State, some of the others. But I think there is a universal respect oh, absolutely. for Tom Izzo and the program that he puts together, the way he recruits, the leader that he is. It, you know, it just makes one great package, even if you're not a big sports fan. However, Terry, I do think when you retire, <laughs> we have a replacement. That's so okay. And even when I'm on vacation, not a bad position. We'll, to be we'll have in. to do it during the summer season, so he's not so busy with the basketball because oh, the recording is all done, and he's not really quite started with the team. Well, Tom Izzo, by the way, was in town for the Davenport University Excellence in Business Gala. It's an event that raises hundreds of thousands of dollars in scholarship money mm -hmm. for Davenport students, and it was really wonderful because you know he. He's such a great leader and to be able to talk about those leadership qualities that make a great coach are the same that make a great business leader, a great student, all of those same kinds right. of concepts work And he was out. helping to raise money for another university, which mm -hmm. is great. And I think that anybody that follows Tom Izzo or just follows anything that's happening, knows that he is everywhere. I mean, he was doing the Broadway shows yes. here at DeVos. He was raising money. He attends all kinds of things, and I think that's why people have such a strong admiration for him, because he's out doing the good deeds, helping to raise money. He walks the, the walk, not mm -hmm. just talks the that's talk. Right. And so that's cool. As for Davenport University, it is a really big event that he helped them raise money for. They honored local business leaders, David and Carol Van Andel at the event and nearly 900 guests attended that black tie fundraiser at the Amway Grand Plaza Hotel last Friday. Izzo was a keynote speaker in the past. Last year they had Helen Hunt so they have a history of getting great people yeah. to come in to do good things for Davenport University. It is so great and what a terrific guy. I'm sure a dream come true for you to have a chance to sit down with them one on one. It really was. I'm going to check that one off my list now. Yep. You Get the list out and see who else we can have on the <laughs> that might be of interest to our viewers That's and our right. friends. Well what a great day. You got to sit down with Tom Izzo. I got a chance to meet Jeremy Britt, The Biggest Loser. A lot of inspirational people today. Yeah. And it's only Wednesday. We've got mm -hmm. such great things planned for the rest of week. So until then, be west, everyone.